Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer has gotten a total of 106 million views in 24 hours. Number one trending on YouTube currently with 9.3, count them, 9.3 million likes. Guys, they have just as many likes as subscribers to their channel, just about. I'm going to be scrubbing through this scene by scene, breaking this down some more because I did a brief breakdown on the first one, but I want to do another one and just go a little bit deeper. So obviously we have, first of all, I feel no need to break this down, but yeah, if your children are playing this game and you don't want them to, yeah, you need to control that. It says may contain inappropriate for children. All right, we've got that out of the way. All right, let's, let's just get that out of the way. I didn't think that needed to be discussed. But we get into the first shop. And let's, let's, let's just go ahead and go in full 4K here. We get into the first first shot of what uh, is the bridge of Vice City. And which you guys may not may or may not know, this is an exact replica of the same bridge in the first Vice City game way, way back in I forgot how long. Um, but this is like the the highway shot or like a replica of it or their new version of it You can see so much depth in the background. Um, I think I don't know what's going on over here. This looks like a, I want to say like a prison back here or something like that or like Like a stadium. I don't know. I don't know. I honestly don't know what that is over there But you got the boats and the yachts and stuff the palm trees everything even with everything looking a little dark here you can see the textures. Look at the palm trees. Look how they, you can see the, the specific spikes. It doesn't really look clunky in any areas. Everything does look detailed. You have the volumetric clouds in the in the skies. Volumetric meaning detailed, uh, more resemblance of real life, changing weather, clouds. Look like, look all the different types of streaks you see in the sky and the plane, all, all that good stuff. You scrub on into the next scene, we get to the prison. I guess this is the prison that she is held up at. These look like the fences that you see, uh, the bob wiring or whatever that you see on the fences to keep the uh, prisoners inside. We get our first shot of Lucia. And before we even see her face, you can already tell, we can look at some of these NPCs back here. And already tell there's a bit more diversity in the way they look. Uh, there's, again, it's blurry, but you can still tell. Like It's not just figures in the background you're still i could tell this is a person with some hair i could tell that's a person you know his hair his hair is cut he's got his arm folded um it's just very a little bit more detailed than you would think coming from like you know other games and even aside from that right in our forefront we have her hair look at how detailed that looks just be, again before she even turns you can see the hair strands you can you could probably count the hair on her head not really we're just being exaggerating but you know so it's like, it's just that. And then when she flicks her head, you know, flicks her head around, you can see the sunlight coming in from the right there, giving, oh, sorry. You can see the sunlight coming in from the, uh, her, I guess her left side of her face, uh, creating that contrast in the middle. This is where we have our, I guess you could say dramatic style of lighting. Um, this is not Rembrandt because there's no triangle, but this is, this is like that, you know, one side dark, one side light, it's kind of giving off that signal of like, you know, she has she has a choice here. She has a choice. You can choose light, you can choose dark. And I think that's what you get in here. She says, Lucia, do you know why you're here? And this is a very common trope for GTA starters. Michael said, you know, you know, the, I think his therapist, therapist asked him, why are you here? He said, I don't know, the weather, I guess, and so on and so forth. And she says, bad luck, I guess. And so that that right there really signifies like, yo, this is really the next GTA. Like this is this is it. And this is only the first 10 seconds of the trailer. And it's already so much that they've, you know, called back to and incorporated and you see in detail what it is. And even again, we can go back to even the parole officer or the counselor, whatever you want to call it, the hair, the details on her, every, everything is detailed. The textures on her, what she's wearing. You can probably tell what type of fabric that is compared to uh, Lucia's. Scrubbing all over, we get this nice, I'm gonna play this because this is a nice, not only, this is not only a shot, this is a nice sequence right here. This drone shot, that pan up, is a nice shot. This looks like an actual drone-like shot. And I think they did this a lot to signify the depth of how well they 
replicated Miami Beach. Look at this. Look at this. The buildings look ex almost identical. And it just looks like an actual... I couldn't even tell if this is real life or not. All right? Yeah, Rockstar Games present. And this is actually one of the big moments. It doesn't seem big to you, but it is. Look at how the sun reflects. Look at that. That... That tech, that detail, the de the the build. I can't even speak. That detail, the the buildings are more detailed. Look at how the light reflects off of them. The ray tracing, the sunlight. Look at that. This is a beautiful shot. Thumbnail worthy, if you if you will. So they are not playing when it. They are literally they showcase these shots for a reason. And we're not just hyped on the graphics because oh you know that's all there is to it. No, they wanted us to see specifically the big changes that they that obviously we want to see what's the game gonna look like how are the graphics gonna be that is the big change and so they're showing us all this and especially with this shot with the flamingos how detailed it look r d r2 was great with this and they really have look at this this is just phenomenal the beach looks more in depth we have more diversity in nature i know a lot of people on twitter are being very 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 weird about you know the diversity but it's it's a it's, it's miami this literally looks like miami i'm so freaking confused but you know it's it is what it is and so we get on into the boat scene this is where the hair physics you really see come into play with the hair swinging a little bit again these aren't even polished shots these are probably just things that they're just like showcasing that they probably refined the most and so again low riders are back by the way we have uh this street right here you can see this is probably where the, this you can compare this to like the hood side this is where everybody you know this is where the people go hang this is where probably where most of the strip clubs gonna be at and all this all the all the craziness and all that good stuff see so look strip club this was a great shot right here do you see the grill on his teeth do you see the tats the hair different types of hairstyles how detailed he looks look at the skin textures look at what he has on his face that's realism added look at that insane this shot is also beautiful it really captures miami in its essence so you have the actual boats and the yachts on this side and the left so hopefully we get to ride those and like get on those and get some get on like some more freedom outside because i know there's gonna be multiple cities so you're probably gonna have to take boats or yachts to multiple cities that probably you can't even get to without getting on a boat or a plane and this is a nice shot again to show depth and detail because even though this is a very very wide point of view you can see every single car you can probably if there are people on the street i wouldn't be able to know they probably will incorporate people on the street later on because this is probably again this is just trailer probably didn't, couldn't put people on the street but I'm pretty sure they can you can probably see them from here going all the way down the line i can see everything everything this street you guys may not know this but the cheetah is back in vice city baby and we have the boardwalk right here we have all the iconic miami streets like this is where like scarface was made like if y'all don't know type shit like this is where like the hot block like hot street and so again i'm out of florida I'm, I'm not from florida but i you know i know a little bit you know i'm contact you know i have people that live in florida i, I have a little bit movie cultured and stuff so i know a lot of stuff like that but yeah it, they did their thing man did their thing and so we get again this shot right here i wanted to try that try and stop at this shot beautiful plane shot right here again the light reflecting off the plane and you get this shot they got do a great job of replicating real world or real world reasons or areas uh, especially coming to florida look at all the big ships just the detail just the, i'm really just focusing on mainly detail look at this part right here the hair physics on how she whips her head around like that so quick hey like that is great that is great and it's detailed everybody looks so good it looks so good you know it's a game fight city baby we know it's a game but it looks so good now some of you guys may not know but a lot of these like social media posts are actual references to actual real life events that have happened in florida you can check ign they posted a video on it about comparing each and every one of them and it's actually kind of cool to see and you get the look the body cam footage this actually makes me wonder what scene this was in the story this one was kind of um like giving me a, a hint of like what we'll be seeing more body cam footage and kind of like a police brutality type of storyline being incorporated but yeah like i said before those uh social media stuff they are kind of like you know 
some of them are real world things. I like how they have the social media aspect. If you read this right here, we can go. I know I kind of, I know I kind of mixed up a little bit. I just wanted to stop right there on like sharing some of what that body cam was. But the you have the social media stuff. The best song right now, long time coming. We're really out here. Hey, I'll catch a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like they really are the crocodile. That's again, that's a real occur that has happened in Florida. Um, this. Even the gas station scene, this has happened before in Florida. Uh, somebody running around. And yeah, if you look at some of these comments, it's really freaking funny. So we're going to scroll back here. It says, usually you got to Wait, hold on. If I can get the... It says, usually you got to hit the strip club. I don't know. I don't know hold on. I'm going to play it. So usually you got to hit the strip club to... Uh, so you usually got to hit the strip club to see jiggle like that for real. I'm so weak. Rip kick Cuddy, see you in heaven. Oh Lord. Now I want to stop right here because some people were saying that these guys back here are our kids. I think I don't think so. I really don't think these guys are kids. They look like grown adults. But yeah, th that's also a reference to two lady, the lady with the two axe, Jason. So we didn't really get enough on Jason here. I would have liked to see Jason be, you know, more centered, even though Lucy is obviously the main protagonist. But hopefully we get more about him in another trailer. And yeah, Lucia looks badass, y'all. Just look at her. Look at her. And I ain't gonna lie. Starting to make me wonder. I don't know. This might be the girl that they saw in the bikini. I don't know. People, a lot of people are saying that. But who knows? It might be some undercover mission or something. But yeah, she definitely... We have... Oh, this is what I wanted to emphasize, too. We got Weasel News back. So, there's a lot of commotion. This city looks chaotic, uh, as it's Florida. And so, I think that what they're going for, again, this is another reference. This definitely is a reference to a real-life crime that happened. Um, but, yeah, I think, again, look, the, the chaos in the streets, I think that they're going for chaos. They're going for obnoxiousness. And they want you to kind of get a sense of living on the wild side type of vibe. And I, I like it. I think there's going to be a sense of rebellion. Cops, look, cops, cops feel to stop thugs. On motorbikes terrorizing vice city so i really think we look man sucked up in the water sport demands his city buy him a new suit oh my gosh but yeah so i think that again stuff like this i think it's going to be type of uh, a rebellion type thing i really don't think there's going to be some police brutality in there noted just from the body cam footage a uh, bit this right here kind of gives a sense of revolutionary type of thing. I think it's going to be like a streets versus cops type thing. I mean, obviously it always was, but it's going to be more embedded. And I think it's going to be a little bit more cultured. I think they're going to try to spread a message. I'm not going to sit here and say it's woke. I'm not going to sit here and watch just going woke or anything, even though that's not the y'all throw that word around. there so willy nilly. It's not even cra it's crazy that y'all took woke and put it in media. It's actually insane. But anyway, I don't think they're going woke or anything, but there are definitely going to be some messages here. I really do think they're going to tackle some of this, some of that stuff uh, when it comes to it. If not, again, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's going to be a freaking wicked game. This shot right here is sick. Sick, 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 sick. This shot right here is sick. I'm sorry. That is a wicked shot. It's a thumbnail worthy. I use it in one of my thumbnails. Sick shot right here. Driving around in the car and we get her and she said, trust and i think this is where we get that bonnie and clyde vibe that i was feeling it was like this is gonna be a bonnie and clyde type of esque story look at the way she kicks that door in i'm sorry y'all go back look at the way she kicks that door in yes sir yes sir man this that 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 was a great trailer coming 2025 i know a lot of people saw that and was like oh my lord but hey, 2025 is actually likely. They always launch their trailers two years in advance. So I think this is very, very likely. If you like my little scrub through, my little breakdown of this trailer, I'm going to probably be doing it again. I just wanted to highlight some of the things that I resonated with with the trailer and just showcase some of the stuff like, you know, oh, this is what I remember from other games. Oh, oh they incorporated this and this is what it looked like. And, you know, give you some insight on storytelling, lighting, and all that good stuff. So leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. We get on some more GTA 6 content. Peace.